This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Latoya Burroughs. Coming up in the news this week, Faith and Science Seminar held in our nation's capital. Pastors receive certification and Adventist youth participate in the National Youth March. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. I'm Latoya Burrows. Thanks for joining us for this week's Adventist News. The Faith and Science Weekend held by the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists featuring guest speaker Dr. Arthur Chadwick, research professor of biology and geology at Southwestern Adventist University in Keene, Texas, opened on Thursday, October 24, 2019 at the University of the Bahamas. University faculty and students, along with other guests, were captivated by his lecture on how cell complexity could not be explained by evolution. Friday night's presentation at the Bethany Seventh-day Adventist Church in West Ridge provided scientific evidence that only our Creator God could be responsible for the origin of life. On Saturday afternoon, Dr. Chadwick further intrigued those in attendance as he presented on dinosaurs, their origin, and why they are extinct. This was marked by a lively question and answer period, as Chadwick's theory solidified the existence of dinosaurs on the Earth. The Faith and Science Weekend concluded as members here in Nassau at the Grandstown and Hillview Churches joined Seventh-day Adventists around the world in celebrating Creation Sabbath on October 26, 2019. On Wednesday, October 23, 2019, four pastors from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists successfully completed the Inter-American Division Pastors Certification Course 2019. Pastor T. Basil Starup, Ministerial Secretary for the South Bahamas Conference, highlighted the significance of the program and commended the pastors who participated in taking advantage of this professional development program provided by the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. The pastors were certified in a wide variety of subjects including stewardship, healthy lifestyle, family ministry, making disciples, church management, evangelism, and leadership. The South Bahamas Conference is also grateful to Pastor Michael A. Smith, Ministerial Secretary for the Atlantic Caribbean Union of Seventh-day Adventists, for working with the pastors to accomplish this goal. The completed coursework, which is endorsed by the Inter-American Adventist Theological Seminary in Miami, Florida, is 2.5 continuing education units toward a 20-hour professional competency program for pastors in discipleship. The Adventures, Pathfinders, and Master Guides of the South Bombers Conference of Seventh-day Adventists participated in the National Youth March and Rally recently. At the event, youth organizations from throughout the nation's capital were in attendance, where thousands of young people marched through the streets of New Providence as a testament of the strength and positive impact of the majority of the youth in our nation. The Pathfinder Marching Band provided music and persons watching the parade were in awe of the melodious tones and the discipline exhibited by the Pathfinders led by their club directors. <laughs> In attendance was the Atlantic Caribbean Union Youth Director, Pastor Kent Price, and Pastor Jamal Franklin, Youth Director for the South Bahamas Conference. Continue to pray for our youth as they seek to be examples for Christ in their different environments. Stay tuned. We'll have the upcoming events in our conference after this short break. Under the theme, Reaching Millennials, the Paradigm Shift. The South Bahamas Conference Ministerial Department presents ALERT, Advanced Leadership, Evangelism and Retention Training at the new date of November 15 through 17, 2019 at the National Training Agency on Gladstone Road. Be engaged by presentations such as Leading the Church in a Changing World, Evangelizing CEOs, Ministry in the Marketplace, The Art of Building Great Relationships, Bridging the Gap Between Boomers and Millennials, Ministry via social media, the church, the most effective advocate of human rights, and more. Special guest presenters will be Dr. Jesse Wilson, 
Enoch Paulson, and our very own Ministerial Director, Pastor T. Basil Sturrup. Alert! Advanced Leadership Evangelism and Retention Training at the new date of November 15 through 17, 2019 at the National Training Agency on Gladstone Road. Welcome back to your Adventist News. Coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, Alert! Advanced Leadership Evangelism and Retention Training, a program of the Ministerial Department of the South Bahamas Conference, is scheduled to begin from November 15th through the 17th, 2019, under the theme, Reaching Millennials, the Paradigm Shift. These workshops will be held at the National Training Agency on Gladstone Road. Guest speakers for the conclave will be Dr. Jesse Wilson and Enoch Paulson. These comprehensive sessions are designed to equip persons for effective ministry in their local churches and to the community. The week of prayer program for adults in our conference is scheduled for November 2nd through 9th, 2019. This will be held at the Grandstown Church, Monday through Friday from 5 to 6 o'clock in the mornings. All churches are asked to encourage members to support the joint in the morning or to assemble at their local churches in the evening with their local congregations for this inspirational week of prayer program. The Philadelphia Church will be celebrating its 30th anniversary with the following events. Wednesday, November 30th, prayer and praise at the Elizabeth Estates Park. Friday, November 22nd, praise and worship at the church. Sabbath, November 23rd, Divine Service, and on Sunday, November 24th, the celebration climaxes with a gala banquet at the National Training Agency. Tickets are on sale. Let's celebrate the goodness of God with our brothers and sisters of the Philadelphia Church. For more information on these events and more, visit the conference website at www.southbahamasconference.org where you can view the news as well as various programming, read the weekly logos, or please feel free to call our headquarters at 242-341-4021. Dengue fever is a mosquito-borne disease. Mosquitoes usually spread the disease in tropical and subtropical areas such as the Bahamas. Dengue fever is spread when the Aedes mosquito is infected with the virus. When that mosquito bites a person, the virus is then transferred to that individual's blood. It can only be spread by the bite of a female mosquito and it cannot be spread directly from one person to another. After four days from being infected, the symptoms begin and can last up to 10 days. These symptoms can include fatigue, nausea, severe joint pain, sudden high fever, severe headaches, and pain behind the eyes. If you are experiencing like symptoms, make sure to drink lots of water and see your doctor. To lessen your chances of being bitten when indoors, if available, use air conditioning. Mosquitoes hate the cold weather. Also, try applying mosquito repellent, wearing long sleeves and long pants, and use mosquito nets while sleeping. Make sure that all screens are secure and free from holes. Mosquitoes lay eggs in stagnant still waters, so to prevent them from bleeding outdoors, make certain that all containers such as buckets and tubs are not capturing water. Keep in mind that items such as tires and blocked gutters can likewise collect water. By using certain plants like peppermint and garlic in your yard, you can help to propel mosquitoes. This has been Patrick Wilson with your health tip courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper. We go now to our news feature from around the world with Adventist News Network. Thank you so much for joining us this week. First in the news, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has launched the global prayer campaign, Pray for Burundi, after the newly elected union president was arrested trying to attend year-end meetings in Kenya. 
On October 24, Burundi Union President Lamek Barashinga was arrested on his way to the East Central Africa Division offices for meetings located in Nairobi, Kenya. This arrest is the latest in an escalating series of events between the Seventh-day Adventist Church and the government of Burundi. In May, through the Adventist News Network and the Adventist Review, Seventh-day Adventist World Church President Ted N.C. Wilson asked for urgent prayer for the Adventist members in Burundi. The request came after 22 Adventist leaders and members in the Central African nation were arrested and detained. The arrests were ordered by the national government and followed months of illegal interference on the part of the Burundi government in the administration of the Adventist church in that country. In addition, a group connected with the former union president with support from the government had taken control of the church buildings, not allowing current church administration to work there. Mm -hmm. Despite months of prayer and attempting to negotiate with the government for a cessation of abuse and the release of the buildings, little progress has been made. Because of this, Accept the Adventist Church is calling on all members to pray for Burundi. We ask that in addition to praying for the leadership and the members to stay strong in the face of violence and persecution, you pray for four specific things. One, we ask you to pray that Pastor Barashinga is released from detention as quickly as possible. Two, we ask you to pray that God protects our members from physical and emotional abuse. Three, we ask you to pray that all governments respect the administrative decisions of religious entities, specifically when these decisions do not impact or go against the laws of the country. And four, we ask you to pray that every person, regardless of their belief system, is allowed to worship according to their conscience without interference from any government or entity. For more information, visit avenus.org slash pray for Burundi and follow the hashtag pray for Burundi on all your social media posts. That brings us to the end of our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Please feel free to share what is happening at your churches by sending us your news stories and upcoming events. Email them to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com or call our media department at 242-341-4021. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist News along with other programming or to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, please visit and subscribe to the conference website, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook page. On behalf of our production team of Adventist Television Channel 658, have a happy Sabbath and thank you for watching this week's broadcast. I'm Latoya Burrows for the SBC Media Network.